just went for a little walk in this park where we spent the night. Uh, well, we actually spent the night in the car park of the nature park. Looks like this now because there's a lot of people bringing their families here to uh, enjoy the nature. But last night it was completely deserted. We were the only ones here and it was super dark and super quiet. The only thing that you could hear were like animal sounds and a lot of crickets and stuff. So it was super peaceful. Now we're getting ready to go to the next place, which is Bergamo, Ber Ber Bergamo, Ber Bergamo. <laughs> yeah, all sounds beautiful. So Bergamo is a little city outside of Milan. That, uh, that sounded super familiar for some reason, but I don't know if I've ever heard about it before. I think uh, it's a herb or something. Is it a Bergam herb? Bergamot, or it's like a plant. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe yeah. that's what I'm confusing <laughs> it with. But uh, apparently it's a very uh, well-preserved medieval town that was never invaded, so that's why it's so well-preserved. And apparently it's very beautiful to visit. A lot of people uh, tend to skip it, apparently, because Bergamo has an, an international airport. A lot of people come to Italy and come to Milan through Bergamo, but never visit it. And apparently it's a shame and it's a very well-preserved, uh, beautiful little place that we're going to visit today. But first, maybe we have to clean up this mess because yeah. we can't drive the van in this state. outside of the city and we are taking our bikes again i'm so happy we brought them i know we keep saying it but <laughs> it's true yeah it's true we are happy we brought them so we checked our trusty happy cow app and i know it's not very italian of us but we made the decision to go to a place called flower burger which has burger and fries vegan burger Oh my god, oh my god, it looks so good. Uh, oh god, they're so pretty. <laughs> mm. How is it? Mm. Good? Sorry, I don't know. I'm just enjoying everything here is vegan, by the way. It's just awesome. Our bellies are full and now our next mission of the day is to find a toilet because there wasn't one at the burger place and when you're in a city it's a bit more difficult to relieve yourself just behind a bush or something. <laughs> yeah, not that that's why we're in the park at the moment. <laughs> no. There should be a public toilet around here somewhere. Yeah, we saw that on our uh, toilet, toilet finder, finder app. So it seems like 90% of the time what we're doing is either finding a bathroom or I don't know, finding, finding a food. place to sleep. Oh, oh, yeah. Food, yeah. yeah. Success! Our bladders are empty. Yay. <laughs> but I wanted to get out of the park as soon as possible because I was being eaten alive by mosquitoes. There are so many mosquitoes here in the north of Italy. And now we're going to take our bikes and finally head into the old town of uh, Bergamo and check out the old medieval town center. So scratch the idea of actually bicycling, biking up to the old town. Apparently everything is just super steep. Uh, we just crossed into an entry gate uh, in the old city defense system, which is like a giant wall around the city core. Uh, and I decided to do a little bit of research about the old city center here and apparently uh, <laughs> Bergamo is the second most visited city in Lombardy apart from Milan so what I said earlier that a lot of <laughs> tourists skip it is apparently not very true. Well it depends on what what is true which source is true. <laughs> yeah I don't know I just, the, the latter information comes from Wikipedia and the um, former information is from some random blog that I found. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe it was true before the blog post, but since they blogged about it, maybe it's become the most, the second most visited city in Lombardy, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. So we're just walking with our bikes along the wall and look at this. Wow, gorgeous. I think maybe all the way over there in the distance is where we spent the night yesterday. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's where? like this radio tower thing. And then to the left of it is the building. And near that building is the parking lot, I think, where we spent the night yesterday. Oh yeah, that white building over there. Yeah. All right, 
I think we made it into the city center. Yeah, I think we're in the practically in the heart of the city center now. There's a lot of people over there and yeah. a lot of tourists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I love it, love it actually. It's, it's beautiful. It's so yeah. beautiful. The restaurants look so Italian yeah. and we're very tempted to have dinner here and to stay here until the sun goes down. But we already spent quite a bit of money in the law. Yeah. So maybe that's not a good idea. We'll see. Maybe if we find the perfect place, we might be tempted to do it anyway. I'm sure we'll see plenty more cute Italian villages on our trip, but that's true. Something inside of me is like, what if this is the best <laughs> Maybe this one? Is the last one. <laughs> like whenever we see something vegan in a store, yeah. it's like, oh, what if we this is the last have time? To have have it. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day. Look at the view. So we spent quite a bit of time in and around cities for the past few days. So we decided that for the next week or so we are going back up north but a different north and we're going to the Dolomites and the Dolomites has been on my bucket list for a very long time so I'm super excited to check it out and just our first night in this area just already shows how beautiful it is going to be so before we leave this beautiful place we're actually doing a bit of a maintenance slash repair slash cleaning again <laughs> yeah again our drawers keep flying open while we drive and yeah handles come off and <laughs> rails yeah, stuff break falls and... <laughs> over. so we uh, went to a couple of camper stores and we looked all online to find these nettings to put over uh, these boxes but we couldn't find anything that was large enough so what we're going to do now is uh, sort of a DIY, DIY solution <laughs> I guess yeah using these elastic bands to just uh, put over here and then we can maybe put some shoes or something yeah. behind there and... this will be fine we're thinking about putting shoes there so you can only put like one pair and mm -hmm. like one of those straps is more than enough to keep them in place i think because i have quite a bit of shoes yeah. <laughs> that i just like put here right next to my bike just wherever there's there's a uh, room <laughs> but it's not ideal because when we have to get the bikes out it's uh it's a mess yeah, it's, it's a, a mess <laughs> all the shoes out all right let's try it All right, uh, looks pretty good. Yeah. That's not going anywhere, I think. <laughs> That's not a, the prettiest solution, but still. We don't even see this. 
Yeah. When you close the doors, it's in the garage. And, and at least now we can use these. Yeah. <laughs> now the other side. Ta-da! The other side. So this opening is actually a bit bigger than this one because the door was just built differently and yeah. I wanted to take full advantage of all the space that we had. So this one is bigger, which is perfect for those shoes because they also, also are bigger than my walking shoes. But we didn't have the right length size, of, yeah, yeah, length of cord. So we're, we had to improvise a bit. Perfect! Boom! <laughs> nice job! <laughs> You too. Thanks. In the meantime, the day is almost over. It's uh, already <laughs> evening and it feels like we didn't really do anything <laughs> today. We spent quite a lot of time on the previous camping spot that we spent uh, last night at. I think we were there until like late afternoon yeah. before we moved on. And then uh, we just went to a supermarket to get some groceries and then found the next spot uh, <laughs> To sleep, basically. <laughs> Which is also really beautiful, another beautiful mountain spot. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful secluded spot. I think it's going to be really cool at night too, when uh, it gets dark <gasps> yeah. and the whole valley lights up. We actually have a lot of those days, like these errand days where we just refill our water or just go grocery shopping, things like yeah. that. But we usually don't film it. We usually film when we do like fun stuff, like beautiful hikes. So it may look like we're constantly <laughs> yeah, like traveling exactly. all the time and, and doing exciting stuff all the time. But yeah, when you do this like full time for a long time, you need to take breaks. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's Definitely. Just, it'll be too much. So what's for dinner? Well, we actually planned on making penne with pesto. But we found Brussels sprouts in the supermarket. I've already cut them up. We've actually been looking for them for quite a while, but it is summer and they're like a, a winter vegetable. So we couldn't really find them anywhere, but we found them. I'm making a wok dish with chopped up Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and uh, we also have some seitan. Nice. And we also have some leftover rice from yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. It's also going in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the main ingredient, rice, and then just... I'm just gonna add some soy sauce and some sriracha because we really like sriracha. Dinner is ready. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> I got it. All right. So uh, I said earlier it was a wok dish, but we obviously don't have room for a wok pan in our mm. pan, so it's more of a stir fry slash... Yeah. I don't know, it, it, stew. It originated as a wok dish when yeah. you do it at home or when you make it at home. But yeah, we had to be creative <laughs> on the road. No! Don't show them! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, with a view like this, you have to exactly. do a bit extra. It's right? not like we're going to into the Dolomites and going to have a view like this every day, right? Well, I mean, our <laughs> camping spots have been a lot of car parks and, mm -hmm. That's true. you know, we've seen beautiful views, but eventually when we had to park for to spend the night, it usually was like a car park or just between trees, which is also really beautiful, but with an actual view, we haven't had that before. Yeah. Yesterday and today. <laughs> so, why? Why not? <laughs> to another lovely evening and to a very beautiful trip in the Dolomites. All right. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> this makes me happy when we can eat outside. And a lot of the time we're also Especially in Switzerland, we weren't sure if we were allowed to sleep in our car everywhere. Like there were a lot of forbidden camping signs and we never stayed there. But like even just a random car park, I don't think it's technically allowed to stay there. Yeah, no. So often when like when we arrived at night, we just close everything off, like just stay inside and hide <laughs> until the morning. But uh, here it's a lot more relaxed, I feel, like in Italy. Yeah, plus there's yeah, there's no one else here. In Switzerland, it was high season, a lot of tourists. So mm -hmm. I don't think we spend one night alone. But here, this is like the third night in a row that we're alone. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Yeah, very nice. We don't like people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the sun has gone down and the lights in the valley are 
slowly turning on. And already it looks really beautiful.